Hello and welcome to the Old Exchange. My name is Ariel Dinkins and I'm the Assistant Operations Manager here at the museum. Though women likely would not have been in attendance at the 1773 meeting or been involved in the decision-making process, that doesn't mean that the tea wasn't important to them or that it didn't play a role in their lives. When women occupied a share of the marketplace, purchasing household goods and supplying everyday needs for those households, which means that women's participation was essential in the boycott. Many women had patriotic sentiments and refused to purchase the tea if there was a British tax placed upon it. Some of them even took to writing poems and songs to that effect. For example, here's a poem written by a lady. It's entitled, A Lady's Adieu to Her Tea Table. Farewell the tea board with your gaudy attire, ye cups and ye saucers that I did admire. To my cream pot and tongs I now bid adieu, that pleasures all fled that I once found in you. Farewell pretty chest that so lately did shine, with hissen and congo and best double fine. Many a sweet moment by you I have sat, hearing girls and old maids to tattle and chat. And the spruce coxcomb laugh at nothing at all, only some silly work that might happen to fall. No more shall my teapot so generous be in filling the cups with this pernicious tea. For I'll fill it with water and drink out the same before I'll lose liberty, that dearest name.